In this question on geometric progression under sequences on series, we are told that if the second term of a GP is 6 and the fourth term is 24, we are to find the first term and the fifth term. So, as a reason of a recall of our understanding, the nth term of a geometric progression is given as the first term a multiplied by the common ratio raised to power n minus 1, where n is the number of terms, okay? So in this particular question, we already told that the second term t2 is 6 and then the fourth term t4 is 54, okay? What we need to note is that if we want to apply this particular formula, we need to say that t2 is nothing but the same as a, which you don't know yet, the power of the common ratio, which you don't know also, then raised to power n minus 1. Since we are talking about t2, n is 2. So we have 2 minus 1, and that is 1. We don't need to write 1, okay? And then for t4, it's going to be a, the first term, multiplied by r raised to power 4 minus 1. So I have 4 minus 1 here. Okay, let me just write this as 2 minus 1. So if you want to reflect that really, this 2, you can now say that that means that a r is equal to 6 because 2 minus 1 is just 1. We don't need to write that. Then a r raised to power 3 is equal to 54. So these are two equations that we can have here, equation 1 and equation 2. To solve this, since it is actually a product, it will be best that we divide. So you can say equation 2 divided by equation 1 and that is going to give us nothing but a r raised to power 3 over a r is equal to 54 over 6 okay and then from here you can see that a is cutting out 6 can go here 6 can go in 54 that is 9 so what we have inherently is that r3 over r which is the same as a single r 3 minus 1 is equal to 9 so 3 minus 1 this is applying the laws of indices anyway 3 minus 1 means that we have r raised to the power 2 is equal to 9 and therefore r is going to be the square root of 9. Now, notice, students, square root of 9 is not just 3. It is plus or minus 3. Okay, so you should know that. That means for this particular question, as you are getting the solution for the positive 3, you also need to be getting the solution for the negative 3. Okay, so we are noting R to be then. We know that AR is 6. Therefore, A will be 6 over R. In the first case, when r is 3, a will be 6 over 3. And then in the second case, when r is minus 3, a will be 6 over minus 3. So we have a to be 2 or a is minus 2. Just like we have r is 3 or minus 3. Okay? So that being said, we can also want to go and look for whatever end term that we are being asked to get. Like in this case, we are asked to find the first term and the fifth term, okay? So that is good. We already we have gotten the first term, that the first term can be either 2 or minus 2. And that is very, very good. Then for us to get the fifth term, let me just clear some section of this board. So we can see that we have two sets of data value. In the first case, we have one in which we have our a is equal to 2 and then r is 3 and then in the second case in which we have our a to be minus 2 and r is minus 3. So even for the first term we are going to be saying that a is 2 or minus 2 and then in this second question which we are also being asked that we have to find the fifth term t5. t5 is a r 5 minus 1 which is a r raised to power 4. So is either we have it as for the first case you can say t5 is equal to a a is 2 multiplied by r r is 3 raised to power 4 so this will be 2 times 81 and that will be 162 okay or that's not the only case or we can say our t5 is also a in the second case with this second option minus 2 multiplied by minus 3 raised to power 4. Okay, so since this is an even number, the powers of minus 3 will still be positive, but we now have minus 2 as a coefficient multiplied by 81, so this will be minus 162. So these are the possible solutions that we can have that T5 can be 
162 or minus 162 and the first time a can be 2 or it can be minus 2 and with that we've been able to solve this question don't just take the square root of 9 as 3 and think you are getting your correct answer you're only going to get half of the math because square root of 9 is not 3 it is plus or minus 3 okay so just know that and once you are able to pick that you solve your question you are good to go and your full mark is assured all right yeah in this question on arithmetic progression we are told that the first and last terms of an arithmetic progression are five and nine respectively so we can just say we have our a the first term is five then the last term l that is 89 so if the sum of the ap is 611 the sum to some number is 611 we are now asked to find first the number of times in the ap and the common difference let's look at how we can solve this particular first question there are two formulas that we can use to evaluate the sum and the less common one is that the sum of the first n terms is n over 2 multiplied by the sum of the first term and the last term if you recollect the last term which will be the nth term will be a plus n minus 1d so if this is adding to this a you have it as 2a plus n minus 1d and we still have n over 2 so that is the other formula that we have that inherently sn is also n over 2 into 2a plus n minus 1d so this is generally what students make use of but is also an expression of this that the sum of the first n terms of an ap is n over 2 where n is the number of terms multiplied by the sum of the first term and the last term so we will make use of this very first one here and then we can say that we have the sum we are given as 611 we are looking for the number of terms n so over 2 is a what is a a was given as 5 l was given as 89 so therefore if you cross multiply 2 times 611 okay i can just say n in this case will be 2 times 611 611 times 2 over 5 plus 89 that will be 94 over 94 and here we can cut we can say 2 can go here 1 2 in 94 that will be 47 okay 47 and 611 i think since 1 is there 13 should be going like you say 47 times 13 3 times 7 is 21 and we need 2 12 plus 2 14 then 47 good so this is 1 4 plus 7 and then remaining 1 5 6 so good this is quite good so 47 can also go in 6 1 1 and that will be 13 so the number of terms that we are looking for is nothing but 13 okay so that is the first solution in the second case we are asked to find the common difference since for this particular equation we have been given the last term we can say tn is equal to generally by our reason of equation it is a plus n minus 1 d now in this particular term we want to take the 13th term the last term will have to be the 13th term so here we can say that t13 what were we given as t13 is 89 okay then a we just were given as 5 we just got our n to be 13 and then d is what we are looking for if we just bring in all of these parameters that we have we can say 89 is equal to a is 5 plus n minus 1 will now be 12d such that 12d will be well we take 5 to the other side it will be 89 minus 5 and that will be 84 then d itself in that case will be 84 over 12 84 over 12 is nothing but 7 so the number of terms for this particular ap is 13 and the common difference is 7 and with that we've been able to solve this question as requested perfectly and we are good to go